Hi again, it's Dave Davies at Powergate.us, that's Powergate Technologies, and you can also find us at HighFusion.com, that's H-Y-F-U-S-I-O-N.com. Uh, we're looking for dealers for our units for semi-trucks and also for cars and pickup trucks, but mainly for semi-trucks. Okay, with the advertising out of the way, let's get started. Uh, what we're doing today I'm using the exact same electrolyte as we used in our previous tests uh, for the Vortex and we're instead of using the Vortex cell I'm using the Big Kahuna cell. Uh, it's actually a uh, three cell unit with a uh, two positives and a negative in the in the center. Okay, uh, has great output and we will see that in a second. The mix is uh, the same as using the Vortex which was running at one amp or less and having good output. So we're going to try the same exact electrolyte except that I was forced to add two cups of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, the amps just went way up and blew the fuse and hopefully we won't blow a fuse. So let's see what happens when we plug this in. Okay, fresh battery. Put the positive. Oops, I always like to start with a negative. I don't know if it makes a difference. Put the negative on. Put the positive on. And watch the output. As you can see, it really goes crazy. We're looking at the amps, it's over 32. I'll have to disconnect because the yep, because the fuse is only a 30 amp fuse and uh, I've blown three fuses today so far. So uh, you can see we had a lot of output completely filled the uh, container with hydrogen foam and oxygen. So H HHO is just basically foamed up and gave us a uh, tremendous output. So obviously it wasn't the electrolyte it must have been the cell itself that either got charged um, and trained. Don't really know exactly why the high fusion cell was so efficient working with this exact, almost the exact same electrolyte. This is actually more dilute than the uh, electrolyte we used with the uh, vortex uh, cell. So we will uh, have to go back to the drawing board. What I think I will do is add w a word exactly as before. The vortex unit was labeled energy and that sounds corny but we're going to try it. We'll test it. So next time I'll have the word energy on this and it'll uh, be on overnight and we'll test it tomorrow and see if that made any difference at all. Okay, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching.